हेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस बिकॉज इट हैज सो मेनी एप्लीकेशन इन आर एवरी डे लाइफ नाउ वी यूज वेरियस फ्यूएल्स इन आर एवरी डे लाइफ एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर मेड अप ऑफ कार्बन बट कैन अवर स्टूडेंट्स आइडेंटिफाई विच कार्बन कंपाउंड आर कम्बस्टेबल एंड विच आर नॉट और कैन दे रियली राइट डाउन दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑफ कम्बशन इन द करेक्ट केमिकल लैंग्वेज This lesson plan is about the chemical properties of carbon compounds combustion reaction. This lesson plan was designed in collaboration with Vasundhara Patade ma'am from Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan's Paranspe Vidya Mandir. In this lesson plan we will be looking at the following games. The students will be able to verify the combustion reaction of carbon compounds. They will be able to identify the difference between complete and incomplete combustion and they will be also able to identify various fuels around them that are made up of carbon in this lesson plan we will be working with fire hence it is very important that we take care of the safety precautions as a teacher you can perform these experiment yourselves and ask your students to observe else if the students are performing the experiments make sure that they are taking care of the safety precautions let's begin before we began teaching we made sure to recall some important concepts such as the structure of carbon compounds what is a chemical change what are hydrocarbons and also how to write a balanced chemical reaction we began with an introductory activity in this activity we had given students some cards on each one of these cards was an everyday object you can have objects like lpg cylinder wood paper various fuels and even some non combustible things like salt iron other metallic objects so on and so forth then we asked them which one of these objects really catches fire pretty simple right but then we ask them what are the characteristics of these objects that make them catch fire now the students had to think a bit and through some engaging class discussions slowly they began to think about the chemical composition of the fuel then we slowly introduced the chemical reaction for combustion of carbon compounds where fuel and oxygen react together to form carbon dioxide and water we then looked at the fuels again and identified the ones that have carbon in them students recognized that there are millions of carbon compounds and actually many of them can act as fuels naturally the next question was do all of them burn in the same way let's see that with a demonstration for this activity we need a match box and some fuels you can have a piece of wood camphor ethanol naphthalene balls and a steel spoon take the fuels in different plates light each one of them on fire one by one are all the flames similar hold a spoon over each flame you will observe that soot is collected on the spoon from only the yellow flames and not the blue ones we then explained to the students that we saw two kinds of combustion reactions one that is clean and the other one that is sooty the sooty kind of combustion reaction is also called as the incomplete combustion because in this reaction the carbon dioxide doesn't get formed but carbon remains as carbon or either forms carbon monoxide thus leaving the combustion reaction incomplete let us explore this incomplete combustion with one more fun activity for this activity we need to light a candle and then extinguish it we then light a candle and bring it close to the smoke trail from the candle make sure that the candle does not touch the wick magically you will see that the candle wick catches fire again 
This phenomena is called as jumping or travelling flames. The students were puzzled with this observation and wanted to know how this happened. The solid wax first converts to gaseous state and catches fire. When we put out the candle, what happens is that the gaseous wax along with some of the combustion products still remains in the air. And thus, when we bring a match close to that gaseous wax, it is the gaseous wax that is catching fire. And the smoke or the other debris from the incomplete combustion, which is really visible to us, doesn't catch fire. This again emphasized on the occurrence of incomplete combustion. We then discussed various aspects of complete and incomplete combustion, such as why is incomplete combustion problematic? We even discussed the effects of incomplete combustions on the environment and on our health. This brought us to the discussion of what can be done to reduce the occurrence of incomplete combustion. We also discussed the efficiency of fuel in this respect. In all, the students loved performing these hands-on activities and were engaged in class discussions throughout the class. Do try these experiments with your class and do let us know if your students like them. The link for the text lesson plan is given in the description box below. Do explore and let us know if your students liked it. Thank you.